Right now, joining us here on Robin Hood Radio is John Stephanopoulos, who uh, one of, of course, one of the uh, uh, the four brothers, uh, the brothers at Four Brothers uh, Pizza. Uh, but of course, also more recently uh, for the uh, drive-in uh, behind Four Brothers in Amenia, New York, which is celebrating. I can't believe this. If that's right, it's fifth anniversary. Is that right, John? That's right. Yeah, it's our, it's our fifth anniversary coming up. Uh, we started in 2013. And we just, um, you know, it's uh, 2013 is when we opened the drive-in, um, and then we really went digital and, and official in 2014. But we've been thinking about it for a long time. But we're, you know, we're happy that it's uh, that we're uh, we're through the fifth year here. Well, what's interesting about this is you brought retro back to being positive, because your drive-in really has become uh, almost not only an attraction for local people, but for, for people that long to go to to drive in. So it's become a tourist attraction as well. Yeah, it's, uh, we've, we've realized, you know, I think in our second year, we started tracking uh, and, and noticing that there's a lot of license plates coming from different states. And that's when we had the ticket booth. We started sort of getting data and figuring out where everyone's coming from. And uh, we realized that we were pulling from really far away, and people loved the idea and were really happy with how it was going. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's turned out to be something that we didn't expect at all. Now, when is your when is your official grand opening? Where you, where you're going to have all the proceeds that benefit the Amenia Fire Department? So that's April 19th. It's coming up uh, pretty soon here. Um, but what we've uh, what we do every year in the beginning of our season is we we try to give back as much as we can to the community. And so all ticket sales from that night, April 19th, are going uh, to the Amenia Fire Company. We've done that for the last three years. All right. Now you are open now, though, uh, right now, especially on the weekends, right? Yeah, that's right. Just Fridays and Saturdays, uh, we try to. Get uh, people in, uh, you know, the on the early season here. Uh, so we're not fully functional, but um, our snack bar, which we're redoing, and um, all the other amenities that we worked on over the winter, are uh, are going to be pretty much done by April 19th, so that we can uh, start going seven nights. You know, it's nice too because the better weather we get this early, the better, the the quicker you can get all that work done and finished on all the all the on all the improvements. And that's another thing, John. We're speaking with John Stephanopoulos, Four Brothers uh, Drive In, Four Brothers Pizza, uh, the restaurants, also, uh, of course, uh, the Millerton Inn. I can go on and on and on. But we're talking about the drive in today in Amenia, and. You know what I've noticed, and it's, and it's what every business does. We have we've done it here at the radio station. Uh, if you're going to survive, you really change and and put improvements in almost every year that you've been open. Yeah, so I mean, that's kind of it's like a, our artist palette here. So we've tried to uh, we, we we just don't see it as a finished product ever, and I kind of, our minds are constantly sort of working on it. Uh, my brother and I, my cousins as well, Eleni, Paul. Uh, we we've been working on different um, concepts throughout the winter time when it's when it's closed, and we just don't stop when it comes to trying to improve it and making it a place that you can really have a great time. We travel a lot throughout the world, and we always see different things and ideas like, hey, this could really work here in Amenia. And it's um, I think that sort of culture that um, we try to embrace throughout the world and and the Americana uh, theme and um, kind of what people were experiencing back in the 50s and 60s at the height of the drive-in, uh, we've tried to kind of reinvent it for, for today's world. And um, we've added our little twist to it. Um, fun fact is that we had never been to a drive-in before we opened, so uh, it was kind of an untainted view. But, uh, yeah, we, we love to kind of uh, keep it um, going and, and have different ideas working every year. And uh, this year we have uh, a couple of different things that we have uh, are going to introduce that, haven't really been uh, introduced to drive-ins before, so we're excited. Well, yeah, uh, we're speaking once again with John Stephanopoulos, Four Brothers Drive-In. I think one of the interesting things that you're adding here uh, in, in your amenities, and, and that is uh, your Airstream. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, our theme has always been play, eat, drink. It's kind of in, it embodies uh, what we, our vision has been for, for the drive-in. It's just about, it's about food. It's about a good time. It's about the movies. It's about bringing people together and doing it well. And so um, we've kind of added a, a dimensional sort of experience to the theater by realizing that people that are coming from far away had been asking us, hey, can we, is there a place where we can stay overnight? And uh, we'd really like to uh, sleep nearby, but really on the property. And they would bring their camping gear and tents. And so 
we were all about it, and, and we kind of uh, encouraged it, actually. And um, we realized is, um, hey, we said, let's, let's kind of bring in a really cool um, part to this theater, which is the sleep aspect. So it's play, eat, drink, and now sleep which would be basically uh, you can come over as a family or if, if it's a date or if it's your husband and wife or whatever it may be, um, and you can sort of uh, stay overnight uh, in, our, in our boutique uh, camper, which is an Airstream. It's a 1983 Airstream, and it uh, sleeps four. Uh, hot water, showers, uh, you name it. It's, it's designed super, super well in our eyes. It's a... Uh, Sort of bohemian escape, and uh, there's a patio deck, there's a jacuzzi in the works, there's lounge chairs, a hammock, um, you name it. It's, it's it's pretty loaded, and it's a really cool experience to sort of add to the drive-in. But it's not limited just to the drive-in. It's it's for people that are just looking to also get an escape and kind of maybe come out of the city and and, and stay sort of uh, in a pretty unique area. And uh, we've actually. We want it to be sort of for the town as well, where people can rent a bike, and uh, actually the the package comes with bikes, so you're able to um, use uh, the four bikes that we have and, and go on a, on the bike trails and um, you know enjoy other towns as well nearby and sort of that that was our thought process behind it. So we're excited to introduce it this year and uh, see what it comes up with. I think it's great. It's an Airstream trailer. and Now, to me, the, the early 80s doesn't sound that long ago because I'm so old, but it really, yeah. the Airstream trailer, I think what's nice about it is it's something totally different and unique. So if people want to come and visit the area, yeah, catch a movie. They want to catch a movie. It's great. But you're right. You're you're right next to uh, the all the rail trails with the biking. You've got Hotchkiss Golf. Uh, you've got plenty of golf courses. There's plenty of summer activities uh, for people to do. Now, now, oh, absolutely. now yeah. for, for people to, to to use that and to set up rental dates and stuff, is that the same web address as a playdrink dot dot com or, or or what 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 web address would they go to? So for that, uh, you can go through playeatdrink dot com, and that is uh, the drive-ins website, which will sort of link everything together. But the direct site is hotelcaravana.com, dot com, and that's spelled with a uh, with a C. So C A R A V A N A hotelcaravana.com and uh, you can book directly through there and uh, the rates sort of change and fluctuate depending on the type of uh, stay that you're looking to do if how long it is and, and the season um, time period sort of all right we're speaking uh, once again uh, about uh, the uh, uh, four brothers drive-in which is in Amenia, uh, uh, new york and it's uh, going to be opening for the season with their grand opening on april 19th they are right now showing movies uh, on, on the weekend but at the grand opening is uh, april 19th which will benefit the Amenia fire department uh, our guest is john stephanopoulos now john you know one thing that i think that we'll talk a little business now and the interesting thing about uh we talked about how you've become a tourist attraction and you know Dutchess County really now is having a lot of movies filmed in it uh you have a, a, as a family have helped make uh the eastern part of uh, Dutchess County uh a a tourist attraction and not only with your restaurants not only with the inn in Millerton but now with this i mean what do you see for Dutchess County the different trends in Dutchess County so what we've realized is um People are sort of enjoying coming up to our area and, and, and treating it sort of as an escape. And I think that um, if you really identify all the beautiful parts that are in the Hudson Valley, in Dutchess County especially, uh, you'll realize that it is, it is exactly that. It's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful escape into the countryside, and it has all these wonderful restaurants, um, not just our own, of course. And uh, There's tons of other people that are doing really great work in, in our area. And... Um, I think it's 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 a hidden gem, and and you'll realize that um, through people that are sort of uh, bringing their businesses um, to the next level, um, it's a pretty cultural experience as you're coming through the the Hudson Valley. It's naturally beautiful. It's uh, it, it's uh, from the farmland and from all the the different uh, things that you could actually enjoy here. It's it's pretty it's pretty unique. And uh, what we realize with the drive-in on our end is that. Um, People are people are really enjoy coming together, and um, it's harder to do so in certain parts of the city. I mean, you, you kind of have a it's not a one track mind, but I'd say 
I mean, there's a lot to do, but in the Hudson Valley, there's that there's that open space, there's the freedom of of uh, of that space, and and so I think uh, people have really used the drive-in, for instance, in our case, to the advantage of of, of being able to bring larger parties together, uh, their families together, and kind of enjoy a really unique experience. Because a lot of the times now, in in, in the hospitality industry, especially, it's all about the experience, and it's not so much about maybe the food anymore as it is about kind of the atmosphere and and what you're able to do there and accomplish there. So um, we're happy with how things are going. And and, um, as a revitalization, I think, in the area, uh, we've noticed that sort of Main Street America is coming back. Boutique shops are becoming popular. And uh, and it's because of of the talented people, I think, in our area. You know, uh, we're speaking with John Stephanopoulos. You're not old enough to know this, but I'm I'm old enough and been around here long enough. There used to be a movie theater in Amenia. There used to be a movie theater where On the Run is in Lakeville. I think the movie theater in Amenia is where the right around where the garage is now and the library. And there used to be drive-in theaters in Canaan and Torrington and all over the place. Uh, and you really are riding the wave of uh, are more drive-ins popping up like yours across the country? Uh, there's definitely a resurgence of drive-ins uh, coming back throughout the country. Absolutely, uh, we were we were the newest uh, we were the newest opening of a drive-in from the ground up. Uh, we didn't reopen. Uh, we weren't an, we weren't an old drive-in, but there are older drive-ins that are reopening, and they had gone dark, uh, making the transition from from uh, the three from um, uh, the old reel and going to digital was really expensive. So that was a hard transition and. And a lot of the drive-ins were notorious for being uh, sort of old and, and uh, let go and uh, not cool anymore. So uh, our angle was we wanted to do all the opposite and, and kind of make it cool and, and fun and and not so much even about the movie as it is about the, the as we talked about the experience and what you're able to accomplish there in, in our on our grounds. So um, there there is a definite drive-in resurgence um, even in Nashville. There's a there's actually a, a drive-in slated to open, I think, later this year. That's, that's massive, and it's actually in the dome. So there is um, there is a, a resurgence of not only with drive-ins, but I think in, in America, across, across America, um, the whole uh, Main, Main Street movement, which is bringing, bringing back kind of what was old and, 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 uh, and uh, forgotten, um, new again. So. You know, what's interesting about this also is most cars now are equipped with incredible sound systems. And I think that also is a big difference when now when you can go to watch the movie at your drive-in. Uh, because I'm pretty sure you just uh, tell people what to, where, where to tune in and they use their own sound systems. Yeah, so the way it works at our theater is that there's, it's kind of a multi-dimensional. You can, you can listen to it through your car stereo by... by um, tuning into 104.5, our radio station, or you can uh, kind of enjoy the ambient sound with our outdoor speakers, so you don't really need a radio there. If you don't have a radio, we can give you one, and you could just tune in from that, or you can now download an app <laughs> that you can uh, tune into our uh, Bluetooth and have it uh, come right through your phone. It's really amazing. We are we live in amazing yeah. times, John. I'll tell you that. Well, once again, uh, Four Brothers Drive In in Amenia. Their grand opening day is April nineteenth. Even though they're open now with movies on the weekend, and that grand opening, uh, all the proceeds from the ticket sales will go to benefit the Amenia Fire Department. Uh, you can find out about how to, uh, the hotel that the at the Airstream trailer and all the information at PlayEatDrink.com on the web. John, thanks for taking a few minutes and joining us, and welcome back. Uh, because it's a true, a true sign of summer when you open up for the season. Yeah, thank you very much. We appreciate that.